Hey, Garrett Brill here. I'm out here with Don and Gage, uh, P-Cert and public safety guys, and we're doing some uh, nighttime testing. Uh, this is a continuation of the series for the uh, shootout with the nighttime now. One that we emit right from the beginning is the Mavic 2 Enterprise. It doesn't, doesn't have thermal again. We're flying in the middle of the night. Uh, it's about uh, 88 degrees out here and about 70% humidity. Um, and uh, anyway, what we have is we have the M210 with the XT2. Over here we have the uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. And then over here we have the uh, new Autel Evo 2 Dual. And we're going to take a look at each one. Now we put them in as close to color palettes as we can. The, the XT2 and the um, Autel Evo 2 Dual have the same color palette. This one, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual, has a limited color palette, so we just pick grayscale because that's all we have. But uh, we're going to take a look at them, and we've got the subject. Now, we did put the altitude at a rate around 100 feet for all of them. We have a little, some good separation, so slightly different angle. Um, but we put it at 100 feet because of some of the limitations on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual to actually see a person. So what I have is my kids out there, and they're just kind of... Uh, walking around or messing around uh, in, a, in a fielded area behind some baseball fields. All right, so let's go ahead and start off. Uh, let's go over here. Start off with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. And what you'll see is that little blob right there. Uh, that's three kits. Um, you know, this has been one of the challenges uh, that a lot of people have said up front and why we've always said that the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual is a good supplement. Uh, but it's not really ideally suited for um, for this kind of thing, looking for people or that kind of stuff. It's, it can be very challenging. It can be done. It's better than nothing, but it can be challenging. Um, unfortunately, there is no zoom, no thermal zoom on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual either. So that, what you see, is what you get. Um, let me see if I can't, real quick, get them to move so we can see that. Hang on, I'm going to call her real quick. Get them just to walk around a little bit. Hey, can y'all walk around just a little bit so we got some motion? Yeah. All right. Not, not, don't go far. Just kind of walk around. All right. So there you see. There we go. Now we got a little bit of motion. And you can see the individual little pieces there. All right. So next we're going to go over and look at the XT2 on the M210. Sorry for the motion here. I'm having to move this around. So there we have the M210. XT2, uh, if you want to go ahead and track them over and then maybe even do some zooming in on that. So there you can see significantly better results. Um, go ahead and zoom in some more. So that's 2x zoom. There's a 4x zoom. And the 4x zoom looks good. I, we're starting to get some pretty good pixelation in there, but we can still make out the people really good. Go ahead. Right, and there's 8x zoom and you can easily see you can count the legs you can see all that kind of stuff right um, so again that's the that's the xt2 um, still a magnificent magnificent uh, sensor suite that it mounts on the m210 so there's that so now let's take a look and see uh, what the autel evo 2 dual looks like here so i guess sorry for the jitteriness all right so one of the things i want to i want to say and this will this is something i want to get back to auto on this is that um the that this uh, you'll probably see this this ambient light too weak it keeps popping up and telling us and that's a little bit annoying it's a, something that um they can they can uh remove but anyway so now we're zoomed all the way out and you know, let me get rid of that signal all right let's move that in over there all right, and you can see, you can see what the what the people actually look like on there. All right, and again, it looks really good. We can see, and we can actually see more information on there. And now let's go ahead and start zooming in on them, on the subjects. All right, all right. There's two X. Go ahead. There's three X. We have a little more finite level of zoom on this too. 
4x, 5x, and he can just do this by rolling the wheel. Okay, 6x, and we're still not getting bad pixelation. I mean, we're everything is kind of uh, um, almost like it's anti-alias, but it's not real pixelated at this point. We can really get in there and see pretty much everything we what, that we want to see on these guys. and zoom back out all right so that was just a, again a quick test of, of them out in the field um, this the what they're up against this is some railroad tracks this is some tall brush as you can see in the dark um, be pretty darn easy to pick them out um, from that and anyway uh, on this thing I, I'm gonna what in my opinion the from what I'm seeing here and I'm, I'm hoping that it shows up the same on the video is that the XT2 and the Autel Evo 2 Dual, the detection and the identification of people is the same. What you do get, uh, I'm, there's a slight edge that I'm going to give to the uh, Autel Evo 2 Dual in just overall image clarity. Um, you can get in there and see and it, everything. You can, as you're zooming in, you can not only see your subjects, but you can actually see. Uh, the stuff around it without it looking uh, getting extremely pixelated it's not much i mean just a very very small amount um, but anyway the main thing that i want to show here is a lot of people wondering can i use the autel evo 2 dual for search and rescue type operations and the answer is absolutely yes and you can do uh, as good equally as good as the xt2 all right so anyway hopefully this was helpful and uh We'll talk to you later.